agree with you. They're gonna, it's going to be um, a tough day come scrum time, and we'll have to be up for it. Um, Ashraf, do you have another question? Yes, just for France. France, it seems like the, the big boys, uh, the props are, are now trying to outdo the backs with their handling skills. Um, you guys are throwing the short, nice passes and, and also breaking the line. Your, your personal work rate on defence, I think it's back to that 2019 World Cup final level. What's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. I can't really take any um, credit for the, uh, the skills and the short passes and the stuff I've seen. I think as you see, Lewitt broke the line. I think he has, he's on four or five line breaks already. Um, but yeah, it's, and Yibben um, also did very well. Um, but as I said, I can't really take credit for any line breaks. <laughs> but uh, uh, Francis, on your, your personal form, um, particularly your work rate in defence, um, I mean, uh, it seems like you're back at your best. Thanks. Um, but, you know, as you know, we always strive to be better each week. You try and work um, on your previous uh, performance and you always try to be better and work in that direction. Uh, Stephen? Uh, thanks, E. France, in terms of the uh, set phases, uh, set piece, how do you, uh, where do you feel you guys um, are um, in terms of where you would like to be? Do you think there's a, a lot of room for improvement still? Or, or how do you guys feel about your, your form at this stage? Hi, Stephen. Um, yeah, you know, Stephen, it ties into my previous answer. I think, you know, there's always room for improvement. And I think it's. You know, other teams also put a massive focus on it because it's so it plays such an important part of a rugby match, the set phases. So, in my opinion, it's a it's a constant um, it's a constant thing to get better and to 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 be better um, than your opponent and get the upper hand of your opponent on Saturday. So, you know, uh, it's my answer in short is there is always room for improvement. Mark? Uh, good afternoon. Can I ask, um, do you feel Argentina made massive strides over the last couple of years? Uh, has it been a steady upward trajectory or, or has there been a real explosion in the last year or two? Particularly, of course, you know, beating the All Blacks, first of all, in Australia and then, and then at home. I mean, in, in, in New Zealand. Is, is it for France or for Faf? Uh, well, let's give Faf a go because no one seems to want to ask him a question. Um, yeah, good afternoon. I think it's been a, they've probably become a lot more consistent in their play. Um, thinking of Scotland and now getting a win over um, Australia and New Zealand. Um, yeah, it definitely shows a improving in, in in all sides of their game, um, I think they obviously have been always been a very physical side. Their set pieces are good, and um, now they're adding a kicking game to their to their play. And um, yeah, they've got a loads of overseas players which are playing in successful clubs, which gives them confidence in their winning culture. So um, there's definitely been a, a steady rise in, in their play. I, I feel they've definitely. Um, risen to the occasion and, and become one of the, the top sides of uh, world rugby. Heinz? Um, morning, gents. Hope you're well. Um, Faf, I know there's not necessarily a distinction anymore between being a starter and um, a substitute um, in, in the Springbok team. But I was just wondering, um, do you find it still, I mean, generally in your international career, you've been you've been a starter. Now you're sort of like almost part of the bomb squad, so to speak, and stuff. Do you still think um, it, it adds a bit of, from a personal perspective, a bit of, you know, spice and an interesting dimension, you know, being handed a role, you know, to come on when play might be a bit more um, looser and broken, you know, and just steer the ship? 
Yeah, I think that we basically we we know what our what our role is when we come off the bench. Um, there's a lot said to us, and um, I think especially in in my position um, for this weekend, it might be to either speed up the game or to try and get a bit of a controlling aspect in terms of um, where we are on the scoreboard and, and, and are we chasing or are we just going to sort of try and build on a lead. It, it, so that that depends on the way I'm going to have to play and uh, organise and things like that. Um, so I think that's going to be really important this weekend is to um, just to make sure to, to read the game situation and, and go from there. Um, we Like you said, we, we have a role um, if you're starting or we're off the bench, um, it's not just an uh, injury replacement uh, anymore. So, um, yeah, we, we're just as focused coming off the bench or as we're starting. So there's a, it's a lot of responsibility on the, on the guys finishing the game. Um, and I think it's going to be massive this weekend, especially um, with, with, with a side like Argentina playing at home. Uh, Steven? Thanks, Steve. And Faf, how difficult um, is it for you? You know, you're uh, you, you, at the moment. It's a bit of uh, it's been a bit of yo-yo in terms of the scrum off uh, position. Um, so, so how difficult is it uh, is it for you um, in this instance to get form? You know, in terms of uh, you know not being consistently uh, perhaps where you would like to be, or, or in in that sense, and then. In the same breath, uh, what do you think um, will be the key to the teams, to consistency in the team's uh, performance this weekend? Um, no, just in your first question, yeah, I think especially after the concussion was a bit, bit weird to get back and um, just the whole protocol. It's the first time I've been through that and um, yeah, you really want to train every day and, and have the opportunity to, to, to be selected in the side and now you're out of it, then you get another opportunity. So it is tricky, um, but we are for a reason and we, we need to, when we get our chance, just use it. That That's, um, you play for your country, you, you get one shot and, and you need to use that opportunity. And uh, um, yeah, I think to, to answer that, but just a bit on the second question as well is is we try and keep our weeks as consistent as possible and um, our training is at such a level that we don't get shocked in in game week and um, so I think the way we train should prepare you well enough to to go out on the weekend and perform at your eyes at your eyes level um, there's obviously other things that you can't control um, in training that could happen in a game but um, yeah, hopefully a bit of experience will, will come through with that, and um, yeah, I can just uh, continue and maybe grow in some form um, whenever you get the opportunity. But um, like I said, the training is is at such a in such a way that we're trying to make it as as close to game related as possible. Uh, guys, we've got a couple of minutes left with them, so um, if if you do have Afrikaans questions, please feel free to ask. Um, um, Ashwak, I see your hand was up first. Thank you, Zina. Faf, net in time of the attack spell, it lijkt soos elke wedstrijd word daar meer en meer aangevoer in time of the attacking spell. Die box kick, is hy nou in die box geplaas? Kan jy nou bykie meer raadloos, soos ons vir jou ken in jou lews daar? Of is dit nog altijd een mix van alles? Nee, hy is hier een paar keer. Ek denk ons ons probeer net bykie ons game bykie meer onverspelbaar maak. Maar het hang af hoe die game loop. Ek denk, soos tegen Australia het ons raarig die territory beheer en die oomlik wat ons in die rechte areas is, het ons die vrijheid om bykie meer te speel, want ons is in die rechte area van die veld. So ek denk, dit gaan ook baie belangrijk wees die naweek. Wie hulle helfte kan die meeste uit hulle halfte uit kan blij gaan die oude meeste geleentheid gee om te speel en ja, wat vir ons dan hoopelik kan penalty advantages gee wat ons meer vrijheid gee om goed te probeer. So ja, nee, ek denk dit hang maar net af van wat ons sien op die veld en wat die 9 en die 10 en die 15 besluit om te doen wat die rechte skop opsie is, moet ons haar kloop of moet ons skop. So ja, dit hang maar ons af 
um, en wat de situatie ons is en, en wat ons voel uh, die rechte manier is om te schop. Um, guys, we've got Andre coming in in five minutes, so I am going to take Afrikaans questions um, first. Um, Steven, was yours in Afrikaans? Ja, thank you, Zee. Um, Paf, um, uit, uit der aard, um, onder die rugby kampioenskap nou so nabij is uh, in, in New Zealand, is net een punt voor die race, letterlijk. Uh, hoe belangrijk, uh, denk je, is die um, bonuspunt? En, en kan dit, uh, jy moet uit der aard, drie, drie en meer as, as Argentinië druk, ek, ek kan dit een belangrijke uh, component uh, in jullie benadering in die wedstrijd wees en, en uh, jou besluit neem en um, vooral wat jy um, uit die aard um, jylle, jylle besluit neem en ek denk die bank sal seker een baie belangrike rol speel, maar net die besluit neem in die algemeen van die spelers. Ja, verseker, um, as wat allemaal wat raak beken en waar die, waar die ook punten kyk weet wat ze waar die situasie is en ons, ons kort vijf punten in die, in die laatste twee wedstrijden en is so makkelijk soos dit um, ek kan nie toekies omdraai nie, dit is hoe dit is Really, really bad over here. So we we switch back to a hot spot. Um, Faf, do you want to just continue that answer, please? Yeah, what what you look for? Bonus points. Yeah, how important is your bonus points? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, bonus points are going going all the way for the last two weeks. Three days. That is. Um. Yeah. That's what we want. Us and us. We have to play and play. And I think that. Um, ons is gedreven om het te doen en ons, ons sien baie uit en ek denk die manier hoe ons wil speel die naweek sal ons um, toeinstel om, om dit te doen. So uh, as al ons, al ons goed werk behoort ons hoopelijk dan die twee bonuspunte te, te kry wat ons dan in een goede positie sal sit um, um, vir die championship. Maar ja, so ek sê, ons wil net focus op die naweek eers en dan kan ons kyk na die ene derban wat ons nodig het om te doen daar so. Um, Adnan, you haven't asked yet. Is your question in Afrikaans? Yeah, thanks, Ina. Um, uh, hello, Faf in uh, France. Uh, Faf, I'm going to be your guest. Um, uh, Jack Newman, coach, coach Jack, it uh, now in the week has said that I will be looking for you as an option on Los Calco, monthly as as a in a position. Is how difficult is it to play that position? And when is the last time you played? Um. Ja, so, dier my van school af het ek baie loskakel gespeel, ek het onder 19 baie loskakel gespeel, um, by die Leeuwspiekie en ook by Seil in Engeland, um, een paar bestrijde loskakel gespeel. Um, so ek is redelijk gemakkelijk daar. Toetsvlak is um, obviously a, a, a ander level, um, maar ja, ek, ja, as hulle dit nodig het, sal ek het verseker doen, ek het nie, nie het glad nie issue daar meer nie. Um, Ek sal een bykie meer daar moet oefen dan, maar um, ja, as, as het is, is push comes to show en, en hulle het nodig, sal ek definitief die geleentheid vat. Ok, en die guys, um, last question, uh, last question for them, I see, um, whoever's you had your hand up first? 
en dan is die Frans, ek jou, ek wil jou bykie vraag, jy het in 2018, was jy deel van die bok opzet geweest, toe, toe Rassi en, en Jaak hulle oor geneem het, en jy het een jaar later die, die, die wereldbeker gewen, um, dit is nou weer een jaar voor die, voor die wereldbeker toernooi, denk jy die groep um, is baie meer gevestigd te span as 2018, en dat jy in een betere positie is om volgende jaar succes te hou by die wereldbeker? Hoi Kovis, um, is een moeilike vraag, volgende jaar alleen nog ver, maar um, ja, ek, natuurlijk is ons een meer gehechte groep as in 2018, um, ons het begin in 2018, so, het is hele paar jaar later, so ek dink het is, ons sal spreek om te sê, ons is baie meer geëg en ons verstaan mekaar baie beter. Um, en dan op die tweede halte van jou vraag, het is moeilik om te sê, het is, is obviously waar na toe ons werk, het um, is die groe doel in die lang termijn, um, maar ons werk verseker daar aan en ja, dit is, dit is die, dit is die work doel. Cool. Guys, thank you so much. We'll be bringing in Andre now. Um, their quotes are for exclusive use today. Um, and yeah, uh, Andre will be here in a minute. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Eh? Bye, Dan. Thank you. Thank you.